all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair your league. So before we even get into this video, man, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all so much for tuning in the way you do. And, um, you know, you could be anywhere else, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. I also want y'all to know that um, this is a time in our lives to be very vigilant, be very um, proactive, and be very um, aware of what the hell is going on around you. And this is a very serious video. And if you feel triggered by any way, um, I just advise you to not watch this video. Uh, it's not the craziest video in the world, but it is the craziest, a crazy situation that, you know, women are facing every day. And um, it's terrible. So y'all let me know what you think about it. I'm going to go ahead and start it and then I'll give my commentary. As we go through this thing, it is. Y'all know I got a small, I don't want the letters there, but I just hate the way the screen look with all that. I don't like how it looks, so you just get into it. <laughs> oh shit, we need sound though. Damn, sure need sound. I'm a real early morning person. All right, let's start over. Of course. Nap at Walmart a couple days ago. So I'm a real early morning person. I like to get up at like 5 a.m and do the things I needed to do. Now this day I needed to go to Walmart cause I needed to go grab a quick little outfit for my daughter cause it was picture day. So I drove down to Walmart, it's like six o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So when I pulled into the parking lot, I see a white van sitting at the other end of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. I kind of parked far away from them. So I go into Walmart and I'm walking around, I'm grabbing my stuff. And I notice a lady is constantly following behind me, mostly the, the aisles and stuff where I go to. And they always use a lady as bait, by the way. But okay. So I keep my eye on her, but I continue to shop. So after I'm done shopping, I go to the self-checkout and I see her walk out the door. She didn't grab anything. She didn't do anything. She just walked straight out the door. All right, cool. So I go to walk out to my car and I see the van is about five, four or five spaces from where I park now. So I look. And I start walking towards my car. Now, for one, I just want to <coughs> advise y'all that this is a real thing that's going on. And what behooves me about, you know, our women today, you know, is that women can just be so naive and actually think that this shit is not actually happening. You know, um, no, no matter if I dress like a man or not, they don't give a damn. You know, I don't know what the hell, what flavor they looking for that day. You know what I'm saying? But I just won't, I won't be on the menu. See, here's my thing. And it's so much, you know, that goes into this. And it ain't even worth talking about all of that. Hold on, first of all. Oh. um, Because, you know, I just feel like, you just always have to watch the things that you do. You have to watch the things that you say. You have to watch the things that you smell. You have to watch the things that you pick up. You know, when I pump my gas today, I don't even put my hand on the pump no more. We're not doing that anymore. Because I don't know who done swipe the pump with, you know, some type of toxin to knock my ass out. When, when a drink is getting made at the bar, I am questioning the bartender. I don't trust the ATM to give me my exact change. I'm going to count it. Do you get what I'm saying? Trust no one, you know? And I wish if, if women would understand that more, things would be different. And then I see the door of the van kind of start cracking open. So I stopped. And I look at the van. And then I pull her out of my waist. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going anywhere without her. I already Here. don't go anywhere without her during anyway. the day. Anyway. But I dang sure ain't going nowhere at 6 a.m. without her. So I cocked it. And I looked at him. And I stood there. 
what y'all trying to do? Because I have no problem spraying up y'all van. Oh, God. So the van turns on and they pull off. It's my life or yours. Period. And I have no problem going to your funeral. At all. So, ladies, I'm saying this to say, y'all need to get licensed and registered. Because these people is really out here trying to take us. And also, the things I do keep with me, I usually keep a small pack. I keep bleach wipes. And I keep gloves. Keep these on your person at all times. Because and I have gloves. Every time I get gloves, I don't know where the hell they go. But I'm about to get some more tomorrow. Because they are sticking stuff in your cars. They are yeah. sticking stuff in your windows that they want you to pick up. Yeah. And it's laced with stuff. So keep some bleach wipes with you. So they come in small packs. The gloves, they come in big packs. But keep a couple on you if you're going anywhere. So you can take it off and then you can wipe your car down. Stay safe at all times. These people are really out here really? trying to kidnap people and put y'all in trafficking. But I'm not about to be one of them. Oh y'all can keep trying it if y'all want to. It's not happening. Let me tell y'all something. <clears throat> Ain't no need to talk long about it. It is very, very, very important to be vigilant in a time like this. And when I say vigilant, baby, think of Batman. Hello. <laughs> Super man. Super woman. Okay. Vigilant at all times. It is not a game out here. And all this naive, chilling with your window down, keeping your car door unlocked, walking in the gas station with your car running, picking up napkins off your uh, off your car with your hand. If you didn't put it there, friend, why the hell would you pick it up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just genuinely want everybody to stay safe, man. And women register for a firearm real shit i don't i know when women say oh i don't have a gun I, and you live by yourself you doing all this shit by yourself and you don't have a gun. why you know so, like why i have that question because i just think that that is that is crazy at all times you should always have one in new york unfortunately you can't in some states you can't but the states that you can, come on. And in the states that you can't, get you some damn pepper spray. Child, get you get you some pepper spray. Something, bro. You need something to fight off whoever so you can get the fuck, okay? <clears throat> That's all I got to say. I just want to give y'all that quick eight minutes, man. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know if, if this has ever happened to you. Put down in the comments what you keep on you. You know what I'm saying? to help another woman. But I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.